Sullivan's two-act opera, The Sorcerer, is performed by Clive Revel, Alexander Oliver, and the Ambrosian Opera Chorus and London Symphony Orchestra. Here on One, we join Patty Coldwell and Eamon Holmes in Birmingham for the main edition of today's Open Air. Doesn't it bring a tear to your eye? The very car that used to drive up to the very Crossroads Motel. Well, tonight will be the 4,508th edition. Only four left and the whole show is being axed on Sunday after 24 years. Well, is it uh, good riddance to bad rubbish as far as you're concerned or uh, is it a sad moment in the history of British soaps? Yeah, we can prove it all actually exists today because this is the Penns Hall Hotel in North Birmingham where all the exterior shots for uh, Crossroads was actually filmed and it is a real hotel. It's a, you'd have thought, though, somebody would have come to meet me, wouldn't you? Uh, uh, somebody uh, at least uh, a kind I'll of take bikes. your bags for you, Mitch Patsy. Hello, Eamon. Hello, <laughs> Benny. You're much nicer in real life. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, in fact, were one of, the, uh, one of the people in the latest troubles of Crossroads who actually got the old uh, oh, yeah. elbow, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, the canteen lady told me. <laughs> you, you didn't actually know? Well, what they did, they, they did need my woolly hat to warm the motel teapotsy, and one of us had to go. Well, anyway, come will, on. Will I've you got take me a look round? Yeah, because I've got to take Moses for a walk now. Okay. All right. Well, will they, will they go and find out the sites of the hotel? Let me tell you that the whole end of Crossroads happens on Easter Monday night. That's when the final episode will take place. Now, today we'll be sort of wallowing in nostalgia. We'll also be answering your direct questions, your forthright opinions, what you thought of Crossroads. Should it have come to an end? Should there be a spin-off series? Whatever, whatever. 061 814 0424 is the number to ring. But let's now take a look at some of the memories contained in Crossroads. We've put together this little compilation of its history. <laughs> Take over now. You can go and have your coffee if you like. Oh, thanks, Diane. I shan't be long. Oh, there's no hurry. I thought she was going shopping. I am. Lunchtime. I've got the afternoon off. Oh, well. I hope it keeps fine for you. And then I met her husband. Well, after all the things she'd said about him, I was expecting something like Tarzan at the very least. <laughs> Turned out to be a little man with glasses. He looked like a mouse. <laughs> well, appearances can be deceptive. True. Well, you've done a marvellous job. Just finished, have you? Just this minute. Oh, it looks super. Mm, doesn't it? Thanks. Well, you certainly look better for it. Mm -hmm. The holiday. Uh, yeah. Maybe, but I don't feel better. I've caught a cold since I oh, got back. Oh, no. <laughs> I hear you've moved back to the Harveys. Oh, you've heard about where to end, then? Yeah. Looks as though Vince is going to have a white elephant on his hands. Mm. Somebody talking about me again? those clips courtesy of Central Television. How could you forget some of those scenes? I know I certainly don't. And it helps put it all really in perspective by actually being here. Now, we're going to go off and meet some of the stars involved in the program, like Miss Luke, Benny, Glenda, Iris, and, of course, Jill and Adam Chance. Keep those calls coming in. Meanwhile, let's go back up to Manchester and see what you've been phoning in about with Natalie. Looks like they're all having great fun down there. Meanwhile, back here, we've been busy listening to your calls. And as I mentioned in our early edition, it's just one week from today that television chiefs will finally pull that plug on Crossroads. And, of course, that's the Midland soap that's dominated our screens for, what is it, Oh, 20, 23 years? Well, we'd like you to ring in if you have an alternative ending to the soap. We'd like to hear your calls, so give us a buzz to 061 814 
two four. Calls already coming in about crossroads like this from Margaret from Manchester, who says, I will miss the programme sadly, even though I've hated it over the last few months. Margaret, I don't quite know what to make about that. Whilst Joyce Hope from Leicester and Mark Rose from Taunton want to know, is there a video uh, available? Because I'd love to see clips of all the weddings over the years. Well, since our early edition, in fact, we've had a telephone call from Richard Jeffs, who's head of programme services at Central Television. And he tells us that indeed there is a video available. It's on the central video label. And it actually shows exactly the things you've been asking for. It shows Meg's wedding, it shows the motel fire, and uh, Meg's last sad farewell. So it's available from today, and I would reckon that that's a must for all you Crossroads fans out there. But as well as your calls about uh, Crossroads, we also had calls of complaint overnight and this morning about an item on Saturday's edition of Jim Will Fix.